Good morning. How are you? This is a $15 microphone. Just the, it was the cheapest microphone I could find on Amazon. I literally, the whole reason I bought it is because it's the cheapest one I could find. I wanted, I just wanted a baseline. Like I, if I were to compare it to a cheap microphone, I wanted the cheapest one. And this is it. It doesn't even have a brand name. Like on the microphone or on Amazon, just, just it says USB microphone. That's it. I also have some nicer microphones. Uh, one in particular, it's in the recording studio. We should go in the recording studio. I don't want to show you too much because this space is still kind of a secret. We're doing a whole tour of the space in like a couple weeks. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Then you'll get to see everything in here. But this, it's got a cover on it. Hold on a sec. Oh, I think I did that a little faster than I was expecting. But this one on the right, these are both fancy microphones, but this one on the right in particular, this is a Neumann. And I don't know if Neumann, the word, means anything to you. It means things to some people. This is a, this is a very nice microphone. This is a U67 and it costs $7,500. Which means that instead of buying this one microphone, we, we could have bought, hold on, 7,500 divided by 15. So what, 500? Oh, 500. We get about 500 of those tiny microphones. The thing is, uh, over the years, I've accumulated, should I zoom in more? Let's zoom in more. Oh, there we go. Over the years, I've accumulated um, a quantity, <laughs> a specific quantity of microphones. Very few uh, of this caliber. By the way, the other microphone up there was the Upton 251, which goes for, hold on a sec, goes for $4,500. Like why, I don't, like, why do I, I don't know why I do this. <laughs> like, yeah, this is like a recording studio, like you need good mics, but like, is there a sound difference between these two? A $7,500 mic and a $4,500 mic? Is there a difference between a, a $4,500 mic and a $200 mic? Well, that's kind of the, that's the point of this video is, is like, is, can you, can you actually audibly hear sound? I know there's a difference. My producer who works in here knows there's a difference, but like, how much is that difference? How much can the average person really hear? So. Here's what we're gonna do. I've made a solid list, Come, coming closer. <laughs> we're just gonna keep getting closer here. I've made a solid list of 21 microphones that span from $1,500 up to $7,500. And I'm going to speak into all of them. And we're gonna see if you can hear a difference. And of course, because we're people of culture on this channel, I'm only gonna be reading the highest quality literature that has been uh, shared with us in this modern age by our current youth. Enjoy. Uh, but hey, before we get to that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Tommy John, and just let you know that my body is currently wrapped in the softest material uh, my skin has ever felt. Hashtag zero exaggeration. Tommy John is a premium loungewear, sleepwear, and underwear brand with comfort at its core. And if you were to call me up and say, hey Harris, can they really be that comfortable? I would have to let you know that I've dedicated this Tommy John outfit as my permanent airplane outfit. And I just, I don't think there's any better stamp of approval than that. Feel good even on a five hour flight like the one I took today. And then I also look good in the airport. Tommy John's are designed for motion, meaning there's no bunching or riding up. So they're great for going on walks, wrestling with your dog, wrestling with your baby, wrestling with your social anxiety. Pick some up for yourself or pick some up for someone you care about. Father's Day is coming up. I bet if you got some for your dad, you wouldn't walk around the house in his underwear anymore. That life hack is free. You're welcome. So try out Tommy John today. Click the link in the description down below and use my code Alpha Gaming for 20% off plus free shipping. And yes, I know we changed the name from Alpha Gaming to Senpai Gaming like two or three days ago, but what can you do? We signed this contract weeks ago. Consider it a legacy link. <laughs> Back to the video. My money don't jingle jingle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. Makes me want to dribble dribble, you know, riding in my Fiat. You really have to see it. Like the grapes that thrive on the vine. Oye, Mariano's on his way. He told me that the man of my dreams would be just out of reach, betrothed to another. They think they can just fire me like that? Like trash? I don't think so. SpongeBob, is that you? I've been waiting for you. Patrick. Because everyone's like, would you consider yourself Ye's muse? Yeah, a little maybe. What is a muse? I mean, I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Gems. You know what I mean? Like things like that. 
Coco, when mommy says stop, you have to say okay. I just a baby. But you still have to say okay, mommy. I just a baby. My name is Cha Cha. Clop, clop, cha cha cha. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Clop, clop, cha cha cha. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Clop, clop, cha cha cha. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your heckin' booty up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You have to, that's so true. You have to surround yourself with people who want to work. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? Havidi Kadibi. Okay, I like it. Picasso. I actually do cuss a little. Do you? Also, yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably funk. Aha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. It's a full-time job, and it's extremely time-consuming, and it's not as easy as it may appear to some people. There's no right or wrong answers, okay? All right. All right, first image. Do you find her attractive or not? How old is she? Now, why would that matter, sir? I'm going to say no. She's uh, clearly too young. Surely she's got to be underage. A minor. Last image. Now that's, that's attractive. That's attractive. That's a child, sir. She's 12. She has a birth defect. It's gross stuff, but it tastes good when it's put all together. Onions, garlic, celery, balsamic vinegar. That's a big word for Elmo. Looks like there's a slice of pomegranate in there as well. No, darling, it's not pomegranate. What do you actually think it is? Give it another go. It's grapefruit. Yes, there we go. I don't know my fruits. I have friends. I definitely have friends. Friends, friends, friendly friends. Time to meet my friends. I'm Paula. Daryl. In my world, everyone's a pony. And they all eat rainbows and poop butterflies. That's beautiful, Katie. Huh. Macaroni with the chicken strips. Moan. Before we do the SM7B test, I want to let you know that any of the XLR microphones are plugged into a fairly premium microphone interface, the Apogee Duet 3, which is about, I want to say, $650. And if during this test any of the mics pique your interest and you feel like picking one up, I'll put an affiliate link on Amazon down in the description below. So feel free to pick one up and help out the channel. And then lastly, if you haven't hit the like button, do that. If you haven't commented, have any questions, do so below. Or if you don't have any questions, just toss down your favorite emoji. That's all. Thank you. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming of modern literature. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Ugh. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Oh no. Our table. It's broken. Pink, pink, pink. Girls, girls, girls. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Twirls, twirls, twirls. Together, forever, we're Linda and Heather. Best friends. We need to do something super serious. Oscar, your stress sweat is getting all over me. Go take a bubble bath. Have a latte. Sip some chai tea. We'll hook up later. Here's my card. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Her sister was a witch, right? And what was her sister? A princess. The Wicked Witch of the East, bro. I'm gonna stab him. You're gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? Am I wrong? She wore a crown and came down in a bubble, Doug. Grow up, bro. Grow up. All right, I have some thoughts. And by the way, if you have any thoughts before I say anything, go ahead and put them down. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you have a favorite, a least favorite? Let me know. And while you're down there, hit the like button because helps out a bunch and it's free, so thank you. The very first thing that I noticed is there was a massive difference between the $15 and the $30. Like, twice the cost, 10 times the price. In fact, that $15 one was kind of one of the only ones that I really, really hated. There were a couple others, but for the most part, like once we got past that $15, they all sounded pretty good. And then between like the $30 and the $400, I just, there wasn't that much of a sound difference. There were a couple standouts and by the, when I say standout, I mean like bad standout, like where the quality just nosedived when we went to, when we went to those microphones. Um, the Samson Q9U and the Razer Siren V2 Pro 
just really bad. Like quality steadily rising as the price goes up and then a dip for those two and then right back up. By the way, if you wanna go back and listen to any of this, I put a bunch of chapters down in the timeline so you can actually go back and listen to individual ones. But the Q9U was super muddy and then the Razer Siren is just like this super thin and tinny sound. And considering they're both 150 bucks, that was uh, that was just kind of a bummer. And then the next like major quality change upward I noticed was the Sennheiser. Like I feel like that's when you're, if you're listening without looking at it, you'd be like, oh, that's an expensive microphone. Like the sound was super crisp, very bright, a lot of details. And, and I mean, that's what the one I'm using right now. So I really like that microphone and it sounds amazing inside a recording studio, I wish. Maybe I should start shooting all my videos in the studio. It might not be a bad idea. It is worth mentioning because I feel like a lot of people are going to say as we move forward from the Sennheiser to the two super expensive microphones, the studio mics, I feel like people are going to say that the quality drops again. And it's worth noting that none of this is touched up. There's no EQ on anything. And the Sennheiser that we're listening to right now is a small diaphragm. So it's really going to emphasize those bright highs. There's going to be a lot more crispness right out of the microphone versus those two in the studio are large diaphragm. The quality is going to be a little bit more flat when you put a, a, a human voice on it. And it's supposed to be that way so you have a ton of control. It's non-colored as it comes out. That way you can adjust the sound to exactly how you want it to sound. So I wouldn't say the other two were worse. I would just say that right out of the microphone, the Sennheiser sounded amazing. But let's hand out some trophies here. Let's talk about best. Let's talk about some worst. Let's just start with the good. Let's do my least favorite last. But let's talk about best value mic. And of course, because depending on the budget, things change. So let's go with best budget, best mid-range, and best expensive. Best budget microphone by far, the Fifine. And maybe I'm a little bit biased just because we went from that really terrible $15 mic up to the $30 mic and it was such a massive jump. But beyond that, I didn't hear a ton of major leaps afterwards. If you're looking for something super cheap that's just a microphone, the Fifine was 30 bucks and it sounded awesome. All right, mid-level. And let's, let's split up mid-level into condenser and dynamic because that's totally dependent on what your needs are. I tend to gravitate towards the Elgato because not only did it sound great, I mean, I would say maybe a couple other ones also sounded really great, maybe even a teeny tiny bit better, but I know the software that the Elgato comes with and it's basically a microphone and a mixer built into one. It sounds awesome. It's a hundred bucks. There's a reason it's one of my go-tos. It's a great microphone. Also, I feel like I need to mention almost all of these needed a pop filter. I wanted that to kind of be a part of the test of like, how much internal pop filter do they have, which is why I didn't really put one on until the two expensive mics. Um, probably should have put one on because none of them sounded great on P's and T's. But all right, mid-level dynamic microphone. I think between the Shure SM57 and the pod mic, I think the Shure SM57 sounded a, a, a smidge better, but the Rode still sounds really awesome. It's 97 bucks and I think it's got a great look, which, a lot of people say shouldn't matter, but I think if you're gonna be in front of the camera, it's important to me. And so me personally, if I were to pick like a hundred dollar-ish microphone, dynamic microphone, I'd absolutely pick the Rode Pod mic. Okay, high level microphone. And this is where it starts to get weird because you start to get into completely different use case scenarios. Like you're never gonna see the Sennheiser shotgun microphone in a recording studio because it's a small diaphragm and it's directional and it's just not what you're looking for. But in this scenario where we're just talking about my favorite sound right out of the microphone, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Sennheiser MKH 416. That thing sounded really good. Like I was, I was really shocked when it jumped to that microphone. That was like the biggest jump I heard. Other than the 15 to 30, that was the biggest jump I heard throughout the whole thing. But like if you're in a studio and you're gonna spend $1,000 on a microphone, you're probably gonna buy like an AKG 414. That's like a studio, Classic, even seen a lot of music videos. All right, worst microphones. There were really only three in here that I would absolutely never recommend. There was the $15 one, needs to be said. There was the Samson Q9U, which is a bummer because I get asked about that one a lot. And then there was the Razer Siren V2 Pro. And I mean, like a $15 nameless microphone is kind of a given. You can't expect it to sound good, but the Samson and the Razer, it's just a bummer. Like those two should really be embarrassed about putting out those microphones, especially for $150. There were, each of them had three or four microphones way better than it, way cheaper than it too. And they each sounded considerably worse than the $30 Fifine microphone. So just totally unacceptable. If I had to pick a least favorite one, 
definitely the Razer. That thing just, that thing just sounds bad. It's a bad sounding microphone, which is so weird because Razer's got that $50 Siren Mini that I think actually sounds great. I think their $50 microphone sounds better than their $150 microphone. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, guys, if you have any opinions that maybe I didn't share, maybe you disagree with me on something, maybe you have some additional thoughts that I didn't mention, please put them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Tweet at me if you feel like it. And uh, as always, happy streaming.